the, the rise that occurred in July uh, is the culmination of more than a decades long um, economic lockdown due to poor economic policies. Hi there, David Ansara of the Center for Risk Analysis. We at the CRA produce a number of research reports and other products which help our clients to identify the key trends that are influencing South Africa today and into the future. One of the products that we produce is the Quality of Life Index. This is an index that tracks major indicators across time that determine the standard of living for ordinary South Africans. We hosted a webinar for our clients to go through the main findings of the 2022 Quality of Life Index. And what follows is a short extract from this webinar facilitated by Gerbrand van Heerden. Here, Gerbrand assesses the implications of the receding state and what this will mean for the future socioeconomic conditions in the country. Enjoy. Now, as the government runs out of money and um, uh, uh, the, the economy is starting to stagnate, put over that the levels of corruption that we see in this country, and we, we will start to see a government that is weakening and the phenomena of a receding state emerge. This graph shows us audit outcomes by province. Now, the gray bars are, aud are unqualified audits with no findings. These audits are also known as clean audits, and these audits are financial statements that have no material misstatements, um, and uh, are free from non-compliance. Uh, so these are good audits. This is an uh, audit that you want to have as a municipality. Then the orange bars are unqualified audits with findings. And the, what, what these audits are, they're still good. They're still good audits to have, but they um, have some findings. Uh, they, there are some questions around expenditure, but then the red bars as shown here, these uh, include qualified audits. These are your bad audits. And uh, these audits have material misstatements uh, to various degrees uh, or various amounts, small amounts to very substantial amounts. Uh, as well as adverse audits uh, and outstanding audits, outstanding audits because there there aren't enough information to to make a call on the, on the standing of those municipalities. But you what you want to see is more grey bars and more or orange bars. But unfortunately, what this slide is showing us is really the the receding of the state in local government level. Um, for example, the, the majority of municipalities in the Eastern Cape, in the Free State, in, um, in the Northwest by a big margin, as well as in the Northern Cape, the majority of those municipalities have either received qualified audits or adverse opinions or simply did not have enough information to give them an audit. So this really shows how. Um, basic necessities or the rollout of basic necess necessities have declined on a local municipal level. Enjoying this analysis? Click here to sign up for our 30-day free trial for more content from the CIA. Now, as living standards decline, we are going to see uh, protests increase, in escalate, uh, increase and escalate. So this graph shows us real GDP per head, uh, and the proportion of protests that were violent in South Africa between 1994 and 2021. Now, as real GDP, uh, real GDP per head has started to decline since 2013, the black line, which shows violent protests, have really escalated. Now, last year, South Africa experienced wide-scale uh, riots, both in KwaZulu-Natal and in Gauteng. And many uh, commentators and uh, political analysts have stated that 
This is because of the COVID-19 lockdown, as well as Zuma loyalists, loyal to, to uh, the incarcerated president, um, trying to uphold his name or trying to get him out of prison. However, as I've mentioned in the previous section, the, the riots that occurred in July uh, is the culmination of more than a decades long um, economic lockdown due to poor economic policies uh, implemented by the government. What last year's riots also showed us was the state's incapacity to restore uh, order and to bring the violence under control. The state institutions or the state function of security, uh, the South African Police Service, were really unable to uh, bring peace to KwaZulu-Natal and Gauteng. And that's just another big indicator that the state is starting to weaken. And so as the state starts to weaken, private citizens and businesses will, will increasingly step in to fill in the gaps. Now this graph shows us people, or rather this graph shows us the number of people per every police officer versus the number of people per every private security officer between 1998 and 2020. So in 1998, the number of people per police officer has stayed relatively the same between 1998 and 2020, that is. But when we look at these orange bars, which shows us that the number of people per private security officer has steadily declined, what this tells us is that more and more people are shifting their reliance on private initiatives. And in this case, private security in order to keep their homes and families safe. The next slide also shows a heavy privatization trend. This, shows, this slide shows us the change in, in the number of pupils in both public and independent schools between 2000 and, <clears throat> and 2020. During that period, the number of pupils that enrolled at independent schools increased by 163%, whereas the number of pupils per public schools only increased by 8%. Now, these heavy privatization trends are indicative of failing state institutions. Now, the key risks that face South Africa are the following. Firstly, the ANC is starting to lose power in the urban centers and will become more desperate to maintain rural support. And that's going to push the ANC to um, adopt or promote more populist policies, both on the left wing uh, and right wing of the economic uh, or the political spectrum. So what I mean by that is the, the ANC might uh, uh, implement a universal basic income grant in order to, in a desperate attempt to, uh, to, to try and win voters over, but that's a policy that is simply unaffordable to the country given its poor fiscal situation. And then uh, the, the ANC has also in, in recent weeks started to talk more about or debate more about um, policy surrounding immigrants and um, what we can do to protect certain people's jobs in certain sectors uh, and, and, and how we can exclude foreigners from those sectors. And that's a way for the ANC to try and a campaign or, or steal the narrative rather away from Action SA, which, uh, which has made it a pillar of their campaign to talk about stricter border controls and immigration. Now, South Africa has all, of course, entered a, a period of coalitions. A number of municipalities 
now have coalition governments. But in municipalities where you, where you don't have a dominant party, these municipalities will likely experience uh, unstable governance, like we've seen, for example, in Johannesburg, where you have a cluster of parties in the coalition there. And the city councils in Johannesburg the last few weeks have been chaos and, uh, uh, and a lot of disruptions have taken place because of infighting. Also, like I've mentioned, violent unrest will continue to escalate due to a decline in living standards. The ANC will continue marching on with the same old policies and without reform, living standards in the country will continue to decline. Violent protests and crime will continue to escalate and the, the state which has been weakened by corruption and by mismanagement will struggle to apply the rule of law. And in the absence of a functioning state, businesses and local communities will step in to fill in the gaps and provide basic necessities. Hi, it's David again. Thanks very much for watching. If you would like to watch the full webinar with Khabran van Heerden, that's behind the paywall on our website. If you're not already a client of the CRA, you can join us on our 30-day free trial. There's a link in the description below. Also, please do let us know your thoughts and suggestions for content and discussion topics that you would like to see showcased on the CRA channel. Please do leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And also don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Take care.